Hello and welcome to Visual3D.net. In this demonstration, we'll show the wide open sea and how you can create objects that are on the surface as well as below. Okay, welcome to our sea demo. And before us we have a galleon ship. And that ship is uh, HDR lit. And we'll take a look at the horizon all around us and we'll see just how vast and wide open this uh, sea area really is. We'll travel out in a northern direction here and we'll pan around. Now we're going to back up the camera so you can see you know as the ship moves away in the distance just how vast and wide open this ocean really is. Um, it's You can have just have uh, a huge number of objects out here interacting if you wanted to. So we're going to move here and show you another object that's in this scene. We're going to dip down underneath the water. If you listen closely you could probably hear something under the water surface. Oh, there it is, the sea beast. And this sea beast is also uh, his normal maps. You can see how great his skin looks. And if I click on him, I can actually control him myself. When he is in an uncontrolled mode, he actually swims around on his own, has his own path that he follows. Right now I have him uh, swimming on the surface, checking out the ship. <coughs> now I'm going to move off of the sea beast move back behind the ship, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the, s on the ship, and I'll uh, take control of the ship myself. I'll be able to steer it, just like I did the Sea Beast. And you can see from the back here, the sails are also HDR lit. And if I pan back, you can see both objects in this scene. And that is our sea demo.